movies based on real events, amazing action films, comedies, and more. In today's issue, greetings everyone and welcome to my Shadow Tavern. And today I have 10 best new movies released on streaming and VOD. Make yourselves comfortable and enjoy the show. American Fiction is a sharp comedy drama that skewers racial stereotypes and the publishing industry's obsession with them. Adapted from Percival Everett's novel Erasure, Cord Jefferson's directorial debut follows Thelonious Monk Ellison, a talented writer played by the always impressive Jeffrey Wright. Frustrated by a lack of recognition, Monk hatches a risky experiment. He writes a stereotypical black book under a pseudonym. Unexpectedly, it becomes a runaway bestseller and catapults him into the spotlight. But fame comes with consequences. As Monk grapples with the fallout from his his literary stunt, the film satirizes the hypocrisy and tokenism he originally set out to expose. He juggles personal struggles and an identity crisis while questioning his role in perpetuating the very stereotypes he sought to critique. American fiction is more than a funny movie, it's a conversation starter that encourages viewers to think about issues of representation, artistic integrity, and the power of storytelling. Despite its modest budget, it garnered critical acclaim and box office success, becoming a cultural phenomenon in its own right. Ridley Scott's Napoleon starring Joaquin Phoenix is a fast-paced, episodic journey through the life and fall of the French emperor. From his early military exploits to the French Revolution and exile in St. Helena, we witness his triumphs on the battlefield and his passionate romance with Josephine, as well as his clashes with political enemies. Phoenix delivers a nuanced performance, captivating as both a triumphant leader and a desperate figure. However, many critics and historians have questioned Scott's artistic license with Napoleon's motivations and historical accuracy. While not flawless, it's one 158-minute running time can drag, some dialogue feels clunky and accents lack consistency, the film still deserves a look. Napoleon shines as a visually stunning epic, meticulously recreating the era with incredible effects, lavish costumes, and authentic props. Roald Dahl's magic lives on in Wonka, a captivating update of the classic tale woven with music, dazzling effects, and heartwarming messages. Timothy Chalamet shines as Willy Wonka, a young chocolatier whose big city dreams land him in the clutches of the villainous Mrs. Scrabbit. With the help of fellow orphans Noodle and Crunch, Willy concocts a magical chocolate recipe that attracts the ire of the local confectionery cartel. Modern technology blends seamlessly with musical and adventure elements, creating mesmerizing scenes. While some might find the sentimentality excessive, it caters perfectly to its core audience, children. However, the humor and quirkiness hold charm for viewers of all ages. The Beekeeper is the story of a former agent of an underground organization who has retired from the business and lives a quiet life in Massachusetts. He rents a barn from Eloise Parker, a retired school teacher who runs a charity for underprivileged children. Eloise is like a mother to Adam. He has no family or friends outside of her, but one day she falls victim to a scam organized by the company UDG. The scammers steal money from her bank account, most of which belongs to her charitable foundation. Robbed and humiliated, Eloise commits suicide. Saddened and angered by the loss of a loved one, Adam decides to take justice into his own hands. Fans of Statham's signature style won't be disappointed. Expect gravity-defying stunts, thrilling gunplay, and his trademark humor. He portrays a familiar hero archetype, a rugged loner with a moral compass who eliminates bad guys while helping the weak. But the film struggled for originality. Critics and audiences found it entertaining but forgettable, lacking the depth of a masterpiece. It's a solid action flick, perfect for relaxing with a bucket of popcorn and expecting the usual Statham heroics. Don't expect a profound experience, but if you crave explosive action, the beekeeper might be just what you're looking for. Ferrari plunges us into 1957, a pivotal year in which Enzo Ferrari, the company's iconic founder, struggles with the turmoil that threatens his legacy. Adapted from a decades-old screenplay by Troy Kennedy Martin and Brock Yates, the film unfolds with Michael Mann's signature dynamism. We delve into the complex and often contradictory Enzo Ferrari as he faces a crucible of challenges, career, family, and even his own mortality. The movie doesn't shy away from the darkness, showing the brutal reality of the racing world, where death lurks behind every victory. At the heart of the story is the legendary Mille Miglia, a 1,000-mile Italian race in which Ferrari risks everything. With meticulous detail and dedication, the film brings this grueling race to life, shot on authentic locations with the participation of the Ferrari family. The experience is further enhanced by Daniel Pemberton's score and Pietro Scalia's sharp editing. 
Dogman delves into the depths of childhood abuse and its lasting effects on Douglas, who finds solace in his extraordinary bond with dogs. Unlike Luke Besson's usual action fare, this movie explores Douglas's struggle for redemption and justice with raw realism and in the style of the famous Joker. He's no superhero, he's a complex character battling inner demons while using his unique bond with dogs to combat neighborhood violence. Douglas faces off against a brutal criminal mastermind who forces him to choose between fear and defiance. Their clash unfolds with Besson's signature action flair, but this time, the dogs take center stage. The movie celebrates their loyalty, intelligence, and heroism, showing them as more than just pets but as Douglas's loyal allies and weapons. While Dogman packs a punch with its action sequences, it's Douglas's emotional journey that truly resonates. Prepare for a powerful and emotionally charged story of resilience, where a love for dogs fuels a fight for survival and justice. Badland Hunters, a South Korean dystopian action film and sequel to the acclaimed Concrete Utopia, immerses viewers in a post-earthquake soul, now an apocalyptic wasteland where chaos reigns and ruins are all that remain of civilization. At its core, the story follows Namsan, an indomitable hunter who lives in a small village where he and his friend and fellow survivors struggle to scavenge resources and survive in this harsh world. Namsan's life takes a dramatic turn when his friend Han Suna is kidnapped by Dr. Yang Gisu, a renegade scientist fixated on a achieving immortality through gruesome experiments that turn individuals into mutants by injecting them with serum. Namsan and his allies band together to rescue Suna and thwart the mad scientist's plans. The movie boasts stunning visual effects that authentically depict post-apocalyptic soul, featuring destroyed skyscrapers, dilapidated cars, and overgrown streets. There's Something in the Barn, a Norwegian horror offering that combines scares with biting humor. This darkly comedic gem transports viewers to a remote Norwegian village where an American family inherits a seemingly idyllic farmhouse. But their idyllic new life takes a sinister turn when they discover a mischievous and murderous gnome living in the barn. This mythical creature demands strict adherence to three barn gnome rules, and any transgression sparks hilarious, blood-soaked mayhem, reminiscent of cult classics like The Evil Dead, Gremlins, and The Shining. While critical reception was mixed, audiences embraced the film's offbeat charm. With its unique blend of absurdist humor, creature scares, and practical gore, it deserves its place in your next horror comedy marathon. The acting may not win any awards, but the entertainment value is undeniable. Society of the Snow, a Spanish drama based on the shocking true story of a 1972 plane crash in the Andes. The film delves into the darkest corners of human nature, exploring our capacity for both unthinkable acts and unwavering resilience in the face of unimaginable disaster. Adapted from the book by Pablo Viersi, the film chronicles the 72-day ordeal of 16 survivors of a Uruguayan rugby team whose plane crashed into a glacial wasteland. They battle not only the brutal elements, fighting cold, hunger, and avalanches, but also the agonizing weight of their own choices. Director honors the tragic reality while using stunning cinematography to heighten the drama and suspense. He doesn't shy away from the grim realities, physical injuries, the presence of death, and even the desperate resort to cannibalism. Yet amidst the despair, he captures the remarkable strength of the human spirit, showing the bonds of friendship, courage, and unwavering hope that fueled their fight for survival. In addition to its gripping narrative, Society of the Snow boasts impressive technical achievements, stunning cinematography, immersive sound design and seamless visual effects transport viewers into the unforgiving Andean landscape. Jason Momoa reprises his role in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, concluding the current iteration of the DC Extended Universe. This sequel pits Arthur Curry, the King of Atlantis, with his vengeful half-brother Orm against the villainous Black Manta. Four years after the first film, Aquaman and Mera's peace is disrupted by Black Manta, armed with the temperature-controlling Black Trident, seeking revenge and threatening to boil the oceans. Packed with action and expanding the underwater world's mythology, the film does face criticism. Some viewers find the humor outdated, and the CGI effect occasionally fall short. Despite these drawbacks, it serves as a sentimental farewell to the DCEU. As we eagerly await the franchise's future direction, this film offers a final chapter in its current form. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel and click on the buttons below the player, and see you in the next issue.